Hey, what's going on, guys? Thank you for joining me for another episode of Eat Up Mondays. Uh, Today, we're going to be talking about process. Yes, process. I know that sometimes that P word, you know, it almost comes off as like a swear word, like a curse word, like somebody's cussing at you because nobody likes going through a process or the process. But I feel like we need to talk on this Monday about this, and I want to show you why there's no way around the process. And we're going to be coming out of Exodus chapter 32, verses one through eight. Let's dig in, guys. Uh, Verse one says, and when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mount, that's very key. So what it is saying here, here is that the people felt like Moses was taking too long to come down from the mountain. It says the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron and said unto him up, make us gods which shall go before us. For as for this Moses, this is key right here. The man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we would not what is become of him. So what do we see here? We see human nature that when we are in a process, when we are waiting on God, when we are waiting on something and and to us, it is taking too long what do we do we try to find somebody else that will confirm the course that we are getting ready to take we try to find an accomplice that will say and agree with us that yo you know what instead of waiting and being patient like you have been yeah i think you should do something else verse 2 says and aaron said unto them Break off the golden earrings, which are in the ears of your wives, of your sons and of your daughters and bring them unto me. So here in verse two, this is Aaron confirming the new path that they want to take. So not only did they get the accomplice, but now they have the confirmation. Verse three, and all the people break off the golden earrings, which were in their ears and brought them unto Aaron. And he received them at their hand and fashioned it with a graving tool after he had made it a molten calf. Don't miss And they said, these be thy gods, O Israel, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. Now, wait a minute. We read in verse one that they clearly said that it was Moses. But here they are again, further convincing themselves, which the the same thing we like to do, further convincing themselves to continue down this rebellious path, which they are on or, or, you know, this path that they are now taking that they know within them hearts. And that's why we do that as human beings. That's why we have to, you know, convince ourselves so many times before we go off course, because within our heart, we know that we are wrong. Verse five says, and when Aaron saw it, he built an altar before it. And Aaron made proclamation and said, tomorrow is a feast to the Lord. And they rose up early on the morrow and offered burnt offerings and brought peace offerings. And the people sat down to eat and to drink and rose up to play. And the Lord said unto Moses, go get thee down for thy people. Here's the Lord confirming it again, which thou brought us out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. Even though we know that God, you know, helped them, helped Moses to bring them out. But God says, listen, these people that you brought out of the land, they have corrupted themselves. Do not miss verse eight. This is very key. God says they have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. They have made them a molten calf and have worshipped it and have sacrificed thereunto and said, These be thy gods, O Israel, which have brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. Wow, this is super powerful. Here we see in the first verse. The people said, listen, Moses is taking too long to come down. This process is taking too long. But we see in the A verse that God says they have turned aside quickly. So what is God saying? Listen, your time is not my time. Your timing is not my timing. What they perceive to be taking a long time, God perceived to, to that they did not wait long enough. And that's very key because a lot of times, you know, we want things to happen so quickly and, and right away and don't realize that there's a process to why it is taking uh, what we would call so long. And think about it. Moses was with God getting instruction for them so that they can do the right things and so that life would be smooth for them and that they can flow through life and have victory. And and think about that because they could not see what was going on behind the scenes because they could not see how God was preparing the way for them. They got impatient. And that's what we do a lot of times because we don't see what God is doing behind the scenes. We get impatient and then we want to go before God. Amen. So really quickly before I close out, um, one thing that 
that they were doing were waiting on God. But there's two definitions of waiting on. And I want to read these very quickly to you. The first is to wait for. The second is to act as a servant to. Uh, the word servant is a person devoted to another or to a cause. So why they were waiting on God or waiting for God, they should have been waiting on God. And as far as uh, when it comes to serving God, you know, in other words, they should have been devoted to whatever it is that God um, had for them to do. And then that way it would have kept their mind off of what they were waiting on. Sometimes we're always call ourselves waiting on the Lord when the Lord says, listen, I'm waiting on you to do what it is that I need you to do because sometimes both are tied in so I wanted to encourage you guys listen go through the process I know it's hard the wilderness is not a comfortable place but in order to get to the land of Canaan in order to get to your finish line remember you have to go through the process listen guys I love you and until the next time shalom